What is up guys, it is Nick and we are back on Near Automata. Uh, I adjusted the audio settings. I guess the music and the actual sound effects were pretty quiet, so I went ahead and, and updated those. Voice volume seemed to be pretty good. My internet actually just like crashed and died. So, mission complete and all that, huh? The Goliaths were wiped out, and we secured a route into enemy territory. Now we can... 9S. Yeah? Thank you for uploading my data to the bunker. Um, I did that? Sorry, I don't remember. There wasn't a whole lot of bandwidth down there, you know? I probably only had enough time to back up your memories. Mine are only intact up to the point just before we rendezvoused. I see. Glory to mankind. Glory to mankind. Oh, it's interesting they talk about internet, you know, when my internet's not working. You know, that would have been, you know... I could have waited one more minute, and I would have got to that. Uh, sheesh. That's just, like, unlucky. Could have waited one more minute of gameplay. 5012 AD. The year mankind's glorious history came to a sudden and abrupt end. When the world was invaded by aliens from beyond the stars, the aliens unleashed a new breed of weapon, machine life forms, that all but annihilated human civilization. The handful of survivors that remained fled from Earth, seeking refuge on the moon. 5204 AD. Humanity launched its counterattack, deploying an army of androids from a network of orbiting bases. But after more than a dozen large-scale descents upon the enemy, we still haven't managed to repel the invaders. That is why you, the Yorha forces exist. To break this stalemate once and for all. You are our ultimate weapon, and you must put an end to this war. Understood, sir. I wish you good hunting. Glory to mankind. Glory to mankind. Glory to mankind. This is cool, we're getting a little story now. Oh look, the Comcast outage map, like half of the United States is out of internet. Good job Comcast. Very impressive. What is happening here? So my whole point of the internet being out is it's still night. Why is he not talking? Okay, I want the brightness there. Why did his voice go... Oh. Alright, are we good now? No. Roger. No. Ma'am? Are you there? Can you hear me? Uh, hello? Go ahead and adjust your settings so you can hear me, alright? All right, are we good now? What is this? Oh, uh, thank you. Anyway, that takes care of the settings. Uh, hold on. Your self-destruct permissions are missing. Wait a sec, we need to restore those. 
I could set it for you, but you should probably do it yourself. Regulations and all, you know? The heck is self-destruct? Okay, good. If things go wrong during an op, you may have to sacrifice yourself in order to finish it. So, once you're finished making adjustments, you can go ahead and close this out. Okay. Sound good. 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 All right. Morning. Nine S. The commanders put me in charge of your maintenance, ma'am. That means I'll be performing regular checks on you from now on. I see. Oh, don't worry. We 9S models are the best around, you know. Though I suppose we're not exactly known for our modesty. Uh. 9S. Hmm? What is it, ma'am? Stop calling me ma'am. Huh? There's no need to be so formal. Uh, all right. If you say so. Oh, I almost forgot. The commander was calling for you. We better go see what's up, man. Er, to be. Sure, let's take a break. Oh, we can save here. Cool. Choose a combat style for him. Um, long range, aggressive. I want him long range. Take him pop shots. You've got mail. How do you look at mail? Intel? I don't know how you check mail. You need to be near an access point to save your data. You can see access points on the close range map. Be sure to save often. Uh, in here. Why are they so shadowy in this corner? That's really weird. All right. To be. Maintenance finished? Yes, Commander. You detonated your black box in order to defeat the enemy. Bold, but risky. Try not to be so reckless next time. Understood. I know you're fresh out of maintenance, but I have another mission for you. I need you to head to the surface, rendezvous with the Resistance, and do some recon. Doesn't Yorha have a dedicated Resistance contact already? We haven't been able to get in touch with them, so we'll need you to look into that as well. Understood. Okay, just to cut. Is that skin? Or is that like underdress pant type? That's really. That's really risque. If that's. If that's, uh. That's skin. That's one risque outfit. Come on, 9S. The surface? That means we'll be getting flight units, huh? Better head for the hangar. <laughs> Usually we can't get near flight units. They're way too expensive for us grunts. Too bad they can't mass produce these things yet. Get tired of looking at her. The hangar, you can get to it. The hangar's up yeah. ahead. Ah, there we Let's go. Let's go. So I just keep peeking at my internet. Because I can't upload. I wanted to upload one of these at midnight or shortly after. Now I can't upload. Because Comcast. You just, you just gotta love Comcast. A to B. 
Why do you think they sent a combat model like you to a recon job? If all they want is intel, we scanner models are built for that kind of thing. Orders are orders. All right, all right. Oh, oh, oh god. I was looking at the... <laughs> I was looking at the down map for, for Comcast. Without paying attention to the game. Tubi, you're going to have some new weaponry installed from here on out. I'll put up instructions for you. Make sure to commit them to memory. Roger. Oh my god. Oh, let me roll out. Slightly, it slightly pisses me off that the Comcast outage to check it wants you to log in, and I'm like, why do I need to log in for that? Why does it need to be like secret news? Whether or not you're internet is working or not. Ooh, taking some damage. Oh, oh boy. Can I, can I get a heal? Can I get a heal? Am I gonna have to manual? I can't even... Oh boy. How do you heal? Weapons, weapons. Bunker to 2B, come in. I've set a landing point for your flight units. You'll be touching down quite a ways from the resistance camp, unfortunately. Sorry for the trouble, but we can't risk the enemy discovering their position. Understood. Good luck down there. So this is Earth now. Target location acquired. Marking on map. Proposal. Proceed to target location. Mini map. Okay. Almost just fell to my death, I think. <laughs> Alright, my internet might be back. Oh, no, it's still flashing. It like looked like it wanted to be up and running, and then it was like, nope. I know I spent like the first 12 minutes of this episode talking about my internet, but, you know. It's a mediocre kind of irrelevant topic, since I can't upload videos without it. It's pretty quiet. Oops, not what I wanted to do. Okay, that's a long fall. All right. So we got some uh, moose. According to our intel, none of the machines in this area are hostile. We've been seeing more and more enemies like this lately. They just stand there and stare into space. It's pretty weird. Um, where do we go? We gotta go this way. No hostile enemies, yeah, okay. So you're telling me these guys right here are non hostile. Start fishing. Hold up. I thought you said the, these things were non-hostile, but you're shooting them, bro. Alright, can I start fishing? Commencing. What? What?
no response. What? This is medium sweet. Oh, I cast. Oh, okay. It's like precise where you. Can I not catch fish here? I can. Ooh, Success. nice. Complete. Okay. We could stop fishing. I'm assuming there'll be better places to fish later on. Looks like where we need to be. So this is the resistance camp, huh? We should probably go talk to their leader first thing. Sounds good. You're number two. Hmm? You know about 2B? Um, yes, well, the bunker told me to expect you. My name is Anemone. I'm the leader of the android resistance that controls most of this territory. Anemone. You must be the new scouts we heard about. Well, I'm sure my people will have plenty of information for you. Please feel free to ask them anything you like. Chest. Small recovery, nice. Okay. All the resistance members in this area are based in this camp. So we need to strictly manage everything and everyone that comes through. Oh, you must be Yora. I heard about what happened. I deal in weapons if you're interested in that type of thing. What kind of weapons? Basically, I rebuild and repair relics from the old world. Although, to be honest, my tools are in pretty sad shape at the moment. But if I can get the servicing device and that toolbox up and running, I could start fixing and selling weapons again. Take a look at it, will you? That looks busted, alright. You know it, and as I bet you can tell, I'm no good at that sort of thing. Help him out. You mean it? That'd be a huge help. Looks like the servicing device shorted out. Must have put too much load on it. I'm thinking four complex gadgets will be enough to fix it. Any idea where I'd find complex gadgets? Folks say you can find them over in the city ruins, although I also hear the place is crawling with incredibly aggressive machines. Alright, so there's a quest. Your sub-quests have been updated. You can check your progress on the quest tab and the systems menu. Hold on, there's a chest. Alright, supply trader. Welcome, welcome. It's always great to get new customers. You some kind of supply trader for the resistance? You know it, every time here is... Every item here is handcrafted from abandoned parts and stuff plundered from enemy corpses. So then, to business, what can I get you? Ooh, I've got 11,000. I'm gonna need some more of these. So how about you give me 10 of these? A couple of these. Um, animal bait, we'll grab these. Couple, we grab five of these just in case. A pouch that emits a secret animal's love to prevent them from running. Let's buy that just in case. And I guess I'll buy more of these. So let's buy eight of them. Yeah, at least that's with 6,000 bucks, and then I'll buy five more of these. So we got $5,000. Killfish missing? Yeah, I'll keep that for now. Got all these HUD chips and stuff. Alright. 
items? You mean those little doodads that serve as power-ups for your body? Afraid not. I'd love to sell plug-in chips, but I don't have the necessary raw materials. Now, if I happen to get those raw materials, I bet we could do some business. But until then... Say, now there's an idea. What if you got the materials for me? I've got these bum legs, so you can't really get around myself. Can't you just repair your own leg? You work in the supply trade, after all. If only, unfortunately, all of our parts are dedicated to the war effort. Can't spare any for myself. Personally, I'm hoping you wipe out those machines so I can start dancing again, but until then, will you look for what I need? Sure. Alright, aw, uh, thanks a million. Okay, so I need one broken spring, one small gear, and one broken circuit. You can smash up a few small machines to find them. You can attain them from enemies at the big open area towards the left when you exit camp. Target location data obtained. Marking on map. Alright, and then we've got... Strange Resistance Woman. Hey, you're with Yora, right? Hmm, my mask? It's an electromagnetic wave shielding device. I wear it to limit unnecessary information from the world. Ha, just kidding. So what do you want? Are you worried about something or whatever? What's an access point? What's an access point? Access point is a piece of Yora equipment. More specifically, it's that thing. You could save and check your mail there. They're all disguised as wrecked vending machines outside the camp. They have a couple other functions, but I guess you'll learn about that when you use them. Sometimes enemies will attack terminals. In those cases, you won't be able to use them again until you get rid of the enemies. So what do you want? Okay. What should I do if I die? That's a good full philosophical question. After a Yura, Yura body is destroyed, only its memory data is transferred to the new body. That means items aren't transferred, so if you die, you need to recover plug-in chips from your previous body. If you die again before recovering your plug-in chips, they'll all be lost, so take care. Basically, you need to recover everything from your previous body immediately. So what do you want? Uh, what should I get? Where should I go now? When you're walking, there should be a mini-map. Okay. Uh, I feel motions. This game is too difficult. I'm good. I'm good. It was fun talking with you. Come back anytime. So let's go over here and check this thing out. We're at about 22 minutes of this episode. So map information unlocked. So we got quick save, transport, and inbox. Alright, so let's act. Server manager test mail. This message is headed for the verification of your mail account. Members who encounter problems with the mailing system should contact their supervisors as soon as possible. IT operations lead server engineer. Transport to the Map bunker. data obtained from bunker. Data may be displayed from the system menu. Map data, huh? It's hard Thank to get an accurate picture from this. Our satellite resolution isn't so hot. Hopefully they deploy some new satellites soon. A general idea is good enough. <laughs> you don't let anything get in your way, do you? Maintenance shop owner. Hello, you're with Yora, aren't you? This is the maintenance shop. I service and consult on all types of Android bodies. Can I help you with anything? Ask for advice. What would you like advice on? Android bodies. Android bodies are just that, bodies that belong to your androids. There are two ways to enhance them. Experience points or plug-in chips. Everyone knows what experience points are, so I'm not going to go to waste your time with a long-winded explanation. Plug-in chips are items that enhance bodies. They have various functions. However, we recognize that the process can be a tad confusing. We don't want you rage quitting over it. So I can actually recommend a chip setup based on what you're carrying right now. Want to give it a try? Sure. What do you want to focus on? Um... Attack, I get it. Eh. I feel like I do a decent amount of damage. Let's do defense. Got it. I'll get you set up right away. Okay, you're all set. What would you like advice on? Upgrading pods. Pods are tactical support units provided to Yora. There are two ways to upgrade them. The first is to take them to a maintenance shop like this one right here. It'll cost money and materials, but you'll end up with a stronger pod. The second way is to equip them with new pod programs. There are various types of pod programs and they do everything from firing, attacking laser or attack firing attack lasers to jamming enemy movements. I've got a couple on sale here if you're interested. 
What would you like if I saw an acquiring additional pods? You can equip mo multiple pods at the same time, but they're pretty rare, so we don't ever get them in stock here at the shop. If you manage to find another pod or two, however, it'll make your life a lot easier. I sometimes hear about pods lying around the desert or being dropped in the sea. What would you like if I saw weapons? But the latest Yora models can equip weapons from the weapons tab in the systems menu, which is accessed by pressing start. You can equip two different sets of two weapons each, so try a few combinations to see what works for you. Oh, and you can switch weapons sets using the shortcut menu. Okay. Let's take a look at her shop real quick. Hmm, so she's got expensive stuff. Plus an 8, increased plug-in chip capacity. Okay. Plus 24. Upgrade pod. Fuse. You cannot fuse this chip and then sell. You can greatly increase your combat abilities with just a few tweaks here and there. If you obtain any new chips or programs, make sure to try them out. Okay. Let's see. Before that whole thing happened with the moon, this area actually had a proper night time. I expect you'll be dealing with a lot, uh, dealing a lot with the weapons trader and the supply trader. So why don't you go say hi? Also, there's this girl near the entrance wearing the head of a machine life form. She's a bit of an oddball, but she's really smart, so I'm sure she's got a lot of useful information for you. All right, so we got a lot of good information and some side quests to take on. So we got the weapon dealer's request and the supply trader's quest. I think those are side quests, not main quests. So we can take a look. Is there a way to zoom out on the map here? Um, okay, so we're here. You can do one quest there and one quest there. So uh, I think we will go ahead and take care of that in the next episode for now uh we'll call it an episode we're at 27 minutes so i hope you guys enjoyed though drop a like if you did you know what we need to do real quick real quick i know what is up use that and use that that'll fix my screen there we go i needed to heal i was like why is the screen like so jacked up and like pixelated just needed to heal, and look at the be look how beautiful this area is. <laughs> now that I have color and, and graphics, this this area is gorgeous. This game is gorgeous. Let's just let's be honest. This game looks beautiful. Hopefully, my internet. I'll probably go to bed now, and then I'll set an alarm for like halfway through my sleep, and I'll try to upload then. Um, but other than that, it'll just go up whenever I have internet, which hopefully is in the morning, I guess. Otherwise, I'll be taking my laptop to work and uploading from work. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this one. Hope you all enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.